Everyone, it's Rox here today, and today I've got something that is not Minecraft. I will be showing you how to install the multiplayer mod for Subnautica called Nitrox. So it's really easy and just a few things to follow. So first thing you want to do is open up your browser and go to nitrox.rox.gg. And there will be links for this all in the description below, so if you get lost, just check the description. Then you want to press the big blue download free button. And here you can choose if you want to download it directly or via Nexus. Direct download is what we're doing here today, but essentially it's the same thing. Right, once that is done, we'll get this lovely zip file. Um, in my case, I'm just going to drag it to the desktop, which is the easiest. And then we can already close out of Chrome. Basically, what you want to do then is do a right click. And depending on which program you've got installed, so in my case I've got Vinra and 7-Zip, you just want to go to either of those. If you have none of them, just extract files. And I'll choose Extract 2 and it'll just create a folder here on my desktop. There we have it. Really, really easy. And you want to double click this folder. And inside this folder there's a few files. And the most important one is the Nitrox launcher file. You just want to do a right click. Run as administrator, so this is like one of the most important things. If you don't do this, it will not work. So make sure to run as administrator. So right now I get a lovely dialogue. And essentially you just want to press on yes. And there we have it. Uh, this is the launcher. The next thing we want to do is, depending on if you're running the game through Epic Games or Steam, um, it's pretty much the same logic, just you have to go into the options and double check that this game directory path is correct. In my case, it already detected it's on eGames Epic Games, but if this is wrong, you can just simply hit change and it will bring you up a browser and you can just change the path there. Right, so once you've set your path and everything's good, you wanna go to the server path or tab. Uh, here you can just simply press start server. This will open up this dialog and if you get another like a firewall alert you just have to press allow otherwise your friends won't be able to join. Now this. And once you've started your server you can go to play a game and hit this big blue play button. And if everything has worked you'll be greeted by the launch screen of Subnautica and you'll have this brand new multiplayer tab down here at the bottom. So we can just hit this right now and press connect to local. We'll be asked to enter a username and choose a nice color. And then you just want to press on join. All right, so once the game has started, this is basically your multiplayer server. You can check that everything's been working by looking in the console. You see there's some stuff going on that players joined. So that's essentially it. If you need any help or have questions, there's a link to the Discord server at the bottom and you can ask any question there. And there's also a really helpful guide page on the website. So if you're stuck, just make sure to check that first. There's usually lots of um, yeah, help that you can get there before asking questions. So yeah, if you did like this, then feel free to leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to smash that like button. See you in the next video.